Welcome everybody to the beautiful River Arrow in Warwickshire. Um, we've been given special permission today by the Throckmorton Angling Club to come down here and have a go at surface fishing for chub. The river's not very wide, you can probably see in the background, um, shallow in places. So we're wandering around, a pair of Polaroid glasses, float rod, some six pound glide line straight through, and a backpack, that's all we've got. So we're gonna have a wander around, hopping in and out of swims, hoping to spot some fish, just chucking some bread to them. See if they want it sinking, see if they want it on the top. Yeah, should be a good morning. We spotted some chub off this bridge. Rob's up on top of the camera. I'm gonna try and nick one straight away. Bit of slow sinking bread to start with. It's shallow enough here for me to see it all the way down, so give it a dip. And you can see straight away this line just sits beautiful on the top. I'm the wrong side of the river really, I've got all the reflection on it. But I'll soon see a fish come up and take that, if it does. That line floats a treat. It runs off really shallow now, but we have spotted chub down there, so I will try and drift a piece down. Always mending the line, keeping it behind the bait. It's not that much flow here, so it's a bit easier. You've got to have a pair of Polaroid glasses when you do this. Um, you can see so much more, especially on the bright days like today. It just takes the glare off the water. Oh, that was a fish on the swipe. Here we go. Come on. No good mouthing it. I keep spooking off it. Let it go down a bit further, but I think it's just come away from the fish. So. Yeah, some chub now coming upstream. One's heading right for the bait. They don't look very big. There you are. Yeah, we got one. I thought they had pushed down from the bridge since we'd been stood on it. He's heading right for the inside, as they always do. in the top left, or in the side. Lovely. It's a couple of runs through by the bridge. And we didn't have anything, but we've had one down the main stretch. It's only a little one. Saw it coming for the bread though, so it's exciting stuff. It's what it's about, this surface fishing for the chub. It's nice to have bigger fish, of course, but Saw this one charge up the river and set his eyes on it and that was it. So yeah, we'll get this one back, hopefully, with the way it is and how quick I got this one in, we should be able to have some more. Another. 
this time on a piece of sinking bread. Um, I sent a couple of pieces down on the top. And they're having a go, but not really confidently. So I left a piece on that was sodden with water and it went down. And that's one of the reasons why I wear these glasses because I saw that piece of bread all the way down that river on the bottom, probably 40, 50 yards downstream. So very important piece of kit when you surface fishing those glasses. But that's another. A bit bigger than the last, but there are bigger in here. So we'll go again. We're having a quick break in the fishing and I'm going to quickly go through what I carry with me when I come surface fishing for trip. I say quickly because there's not a lot here at all. Um, I've got a glide float rod, which is nice and soft, good through action on that. I've got a Corum, this is the Inferno 4000 and that's loaded with the six pound uh, glide line, the float line. Floats lovely on the top, doesn't sink, nice and clear too. So that's it for the rod net. I use the um, snapper. XTND fastnet, can hang off the bag at the back. It's nice and light to carry around, but it's plenty big enough for a chub. In the bag, um, the only thing I'm missing myself is a camera, but Rob's got that today. Um, but in here, I've got a towel, scales, sling, a small mat, two packs of hooks. The hooks I'm using are the size four all-rounders. Nice big hooks, can expose the point through the bread. And then a pack of bread. That's it, that's all I bring with me. Um, the most important piece of kit I've got with me today, obviously other than the rod, is the glasses. Um, these core and my definition glasses, polarised glasses. And when the river's low and clear and there's plenty of sun on it, you can use these to spot fish a mile off. Um, the first fish I caught today, I actually used it following the bait down the river, squeezed a bit of bread. They didn't want it on the top, squeezed a bit of bread so it sank. And I could watch the bait trundle along the bottom of the river. It's a really, really important piece of kit. So yeah, what we'll do, we'll get wrapped up, have a wander downstream. We're opposite Coat and Court today in Warwickshire and there's quite a bit of footfall around at the back of the court. So we're gonna pack up and head on further down where it's a bit quieter. Dead tree in the water down here. I'm trying to get him out of. Got him. the best one of the day. Again, not huge, but these little rivers, they hold some great sport. They've had bags of 25 pound chub and dace. So some good fishing on these little rivers. Get yourself a float rod, some glide lines, some big hooks and some bread. Some fun to be had. <laughs> 